The problem is this expression. This is not an error in Python. It means something. But it doesn't mean what our friend thinks it means. And it doesn't mean what I just spoke out. I wanted to say if month is either 4, 6, 9 or 11. But that is not the meaning of this. And to convince you, let us go over to Python Tutor. Let's actually trace this code for a carefully chosen month. So I'm going to execute this code for a carefully chosen month, namely August, month 8. Now I know that August has 31 days, so I'm expecting this print statement for the month August, and I really don't care whether it's a leap year or not because August always has 31 days, I'm expecting this print statement to give me 31. Let's visualize the execution here. Okay, so the code is ready to execute. We click on next, the red arrows are at line 1. We know that's just a defined statement. We come to line 18 where we initialize month is equal to 8 and then we call the function to print it. So month is 8 and now we're going to print something which requires us to evaluate the function on these arguments. So no surprises, the red arrow jumps to line 1. We shift from the global frame to num days where we have initialized our parameters to the arguments 8 and false. Now, we skip past the doc string and we ask this condition, is the month illegal? No, the month is 8, so that's perfectly legal. So we're going to skip past the if condition and come to the second if condition. And this is not February, this is month 8, so this condition is not true. We'll jump ahead to line 14 where we are checking is it one of those months that has 30 days? And of course, month here is 8, so it's not 4, it's not 6, it's not 9, and it's not 11. So we're expecting the red arrow to come to line 16 and return 31 as it's supposed to. But observe what happens when we click on next. We click on next and we do go into the if condition.